Hello! In this video I will show you how to install Dynea 4.6.4 with MATLAB R2021A on a Mac. So we will install MATLAB R2021A on a M1 Mac using Rosetta 2, then we will install Dynea 4.6.4 and then I will show you how to add the path of Dynea to MATLAB and also test whether the installation is correct. There are timestamps in the description of the video below, so please feel free to skip ahead. If you find this video useful or if you spot any mistakes, please let me know so I can update the description of the video. Before we start, check out my blog on more stuff on DSG models and Dynair. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first let us install MATLAB. So go to the homepage of MathWorks, go to your account. Um, log in with your credentials and either you already have a license or you can buy one or you can ask for a trial version. Either way, there is this download button here and I'm downloading this for macOS. Okay, once it has downloaded, open it up and open the DMG file. Now double click. Sure. Now it's going to ask for your password. And there it is. I have this uh, silicon info here, so you can see that MATLAB is still running under the compatibility layer Rosetta. So this is not Apple Silicon native. Enter your credentials. Yes, next. Choose your license. If you have a network license, then you might need to enter the activation key. Okay, I usually leave the default destination folder. Now for Dynea, you only need MATLAB. Um, there are some toolboxes that we recommend. This is the control system toolbox, the global optimization toolbox, the optimization toolbox, and the statistics toolbox. But again, you don't need these toolboxes. Okay, click next. And I want to improve my experience. And then you simply begin the install. And this will take a while. Okay, now it has finished. Let's see whether it installed correctly. Now the first start will definitely take, take a while because we're running this under Rosetta 2. Okay, sometimes you will need to enter your license again. Now let's install Dynair. So for this, go to Dynair's homepage and the macOS package right here. So um, this package is unsigned. To run it, you need to right click on it and select open from the menu that pops up. Okay, so you need to go to your downloads folder, right click and open. Open. And then you have some information here. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, just leave the default installation here. And this might take a little while. Okay, the installation was successful. And if you go into your applications folder, Dynair installed to Dynair, and here's the version number. You could actually copy this folder over to someplace else. Okay, but just keep in mind that this folder needs to be on the, on the local disk. Don't use cloud storage folders or network drives. It has to be on the disk. Okay, now let me also create a new folder for my Dynair work. Put this into documents. Again, this has to be the local folder. Don't put this on your iCloud folder or any, or your Dropbox folder or somewhere else. It has to be on the local, um, on the local disk. I'm going to copy the example one. to this folder. Now let's go into MATLAB. Go into my Dynair work folder. 
Now you have to add Dynaeus path to MATLAB. You could use the graphical user interface for this, but I uh, strongly suggest that you use um, the add path command um, so you don't run into any issues if you do other computations with MATLAB. So whenever you work with Dynaeus, you just write down this add path command. Okay, so, and very importantly, it's the MATLAB folder you want to add. Not any subfolders, uh, just this MATLAB folder. And then you can simply run Dynair and you will get the version number. Okay, let's run the example one. And there you go. Okay, so this is all working with the Intel compatibility layer. And in my experience, it works pretty well. Sometimes I do get a freeze in MATLAB, but I guess this is all due to MATLAB still not being native on Apple Silicon. Okay, one more thing. Um, I usually w like to change one important preference here, the editor and language and add the MOD extension. Okay, so that I get nicer code formatting. Okay, that's it. Please leave your comments below. I will update the description of the video to correct any mistakes I make. Have a good one.